Welcome back to the video series that the Maine Department of Education Early Learning Team has created to introduce you to a few of the many roles in the field of early childhood education. We really are pleased to celebrate these individuals and the important work that they do. We've reached the midpoint in our week, Work Together Wednesday. The ability to work well with others has been highlighted by colleges and businesses as an essential skill for young adults to be college and career ready. The foundation of those skills begin in early childhood as children learn to share and resolve conflicts. To that end, everyone who interacts with young children is part of the village that works together to build these critical skills. Members of our communities also work together to ensure rich opportunities for young children. Today, you will meet individuals who work with others to support high quality opportunities for young children. Justine Valencourt instructs high school students enrolled in the Early Childhood Program at the Career and Technical Education Center in Fort Kent. Um, so my name is Justine Valencourt and I work at the St. John Valley Technology Center up in Frenchville and I run the Early Childhood Occupations Program as the instructor. Um, we work in a large capacity where we work with three different school systems and we work with high schoolers, middle schoolers, and as part of my job I get to work with preschooler as well. Um, we largely focus on um, child development topics and we run a one, two, three play group that um, works with children ages two and a half to four years old. Um, so when high school students come in, they have the option of coming for one, two, or three years, depending on um, kind of what they're planning for their future. I do have a lot of students that come in not really sure what they want to do. They just know they want to work with kids in some capacity. Um, so we start with the basics. We start with the fundamentals of child development. We start all the way from conception up to age eight. First year students typically just get the basics, like how do you talk to children? How do you interact with children? How do you teach children? Like um, all about like positive environments and being a good role model and what our job is when we work um, with children. Second year students typically get to focus on themselves. What do you want to do with your future? Um, I've had students work in uh, school settings, daycare settings, hospital settings. So it's kind of up to them to decide what they would like to do with their future. Um, we also have an in-house play group um, that they plan and implement all the teaching themselves. I'm just there to supervise and guide as needed. So it is really truly run by them. So as a young child, I always knew that I wanted to work with kids. I was always kind of the mother hen of the group. Um, I had a lot of younger cousins and um, I babysat a lot of families. Um, but I also had this opportunity to be in the very classroom that I teach right now. Um, I came as a junior and a senior in high school and I got to internship at uh, the local uh, elementary school and pre-k and I absolutely loved it um, I did end up going to school for it kind of lost my way for a little bit but then always kept looking back saying like I really want to do this again I really want to do this again um, so I went back for elementary education started working in that special ed um, area really loved it kind of focused on that and then I was approached to actually apply for the job that I'm in right now and when I got it it just kind of came full circle and it really felt like this was where I was meant to be at. Um, and the really cool thing about it is I actually, my first graduating class, my seniors were actually in the play group when I was a senior. So it really came full circle and it really um, was great because working with these communities and these families, it just kind of, you know, you're doing something to prepare these kids, the young kids and the older kids for their next steps in life. Um, so that was just really important to me because I knew this was my passion and I just want to bring that passion out in, in them as well. So tell me, I think we have heard a little bit of this, what is your favorite part of your work? What's the best thing that you do in your, in your role? I think it's the aha moments and you see it in the youngers, but you also see it in the older students as well. Um, we've recently been able to include more certifications with our high school students and give them more career opportunities. And I think every time you see that light bulb and they say, this is what I want to do, or this is the track that I want to follow. I think that's the most exciting thing. Uh, Brittany Arbo is an outdoor learning instructor and grant coordinator for the Katahdin Public Schools. She is also the founder of the Katahdin Children and Families Organization. 
So my name is Brittany Arbo. I am currently the grant coordinator at Katahdin Schools and the co-founder of the Katahdin Children and Families Foundation. So in this stage in my life, I'm supporting early childhood education through really through two different roles. I'm working as the Rev Grant Coordinator and supporting the implementation of our pilot project, Connect, Reach and Teach Each Child with Outdoor Learning. Um, early childhood educators at Katahdin Elementary School are doing a great job working collaboratively to provide developmentally appropriate practice and authentic learning experiences for children that focus on that full scope of development, their cognitive, their emotional, their social and physical development, while immersing these young children in our natural world. So my role is to support the administrators and the teachers in, in this pilot project. The other role that I'm currently serving is the co-founder of the nonprofit foundation, Katahdin Children and Families Foundation. And, and what we're doing is working toward um, reducing barriers to quality, early childhood and parent education, um, and connecting children to their community. And we also have a new self-directed learning center um, where young children visit and connect with nature and one another. Can you tell us a little bit about some of some of your previous work in this yes. field? Sure. Um, previous to this position of Rev Grant Coordinator, I was um, the literacy specialist at Katahdin Elementary School for about 15 years. And in that role, I supported teachers in all things literacy, language development, reading, writing, um, and designing classrooms. So I was able to teach in classrooms pre-K through grade two and really get to work with children. And we found that um, children really do need authentic learning experiences beyond just the pen and paper and sitting in a classroom. And um, prior to that, I taught um, English in South Korea and I started my career in an early elementary classroom. So Brittany, what has really drawn you to working with children? Well, I think working with children is more of a calling. It chooses you sometimes rather than you choose it. And if you're lucky enough to to have that calling and to, and you want to really make a difference um, with young children, it, it is so rewarding. And what drew me to working with young children is really their curiosity and how they learn. If you've, if you've ever spent any time with a young child, you'll you'll know how when they see something, it's like you can see the world through a new set of eyes. And I think just knowing the impact that I can have or any educator can have in, in a young child just by holding time and space for them and that the, the investment that you make with them from birth to eight, especially, has huge rewards later in their life. From your vantage point, what's the best part or best parts of working with children? Um, I think it's really one of the best parts is just finding the joy. You know, life can get really heavy sometimes. And when you enter a child's world, it's so full of joy and just everyday experiences. Um, and that the learning can happen everywhere, especially through play and I love talking with families and just being there for them and just knowing that if they can just sit and play with their child, that that's where the learning is happening, right? Christine Salois is the Head Start Director for SKCDC. So I'm Christina Salois and I'm the Director at Southern Kennebec Child Development. I'm a Head Start Director and I also have the pleasure of acting as the Chair of the Maine Head Start Directors Association. Fantastic. And prior to this, what positions and career have you held? Gosh, Stacy, I feel like I've held every position in the early childhood world. Um, I started out as a family child care provider in the 1980s, and I've served as a preschool teacher and a home visitor and moved on to some uh, manager positions. Uh, and I also have had the um, opportunity to do a lot of um, adult education in the early childhood world for Maine Roads to Quality and um, for the Office of Head Start. That is amazing. That is incredibly diverse. Um, so what 
initially drew you to working with young children? You know, I think that young children for me is just that age where they're open to every possibility and they're they're willing to try everything out and turn things inside out and they just bring that like eagerness to learn and experiment. And this might be a little redundant, but when you think about like, what is the absolute best aspect of working with children and families in your opinion? I think you just said it, it's children mm -hmm. and families. And you know, Head Start is just such a great place to be able to partner with families and um, supporting their children's development and um, watching them grow to their full potential. Excellent. Any advice that you have for somebody maybe entering the field or thinking of entering the field? Oh, I hope that anybody who's thinking of entering the field knocks on the door of their local uh, early childhood program and spend some time there so that you can see all of the, you know, you can almost see those brains developing as they're um, participating in their classroom activities. So you'll feel the magic too. Ben Lothrop is the principal at Limestone Community School. My name is Ben Lothrop. I'm the principal at Limestone Community School, which is a pre-K to eight building. Um, very small school, about 140 kids. Um, obviously, as the building principal, I see to the day-to-day -day operations of the building from curriculum to discipline to teacher staffing, all that stuff. Um, the pre-K, our pre-K program is a partnership with ACAP. Uh, they have a actually a double room that was built especially for them last summer. Um, they are in our building. Um, I... Obviously, I'm in charge of, of the pre-K room, although I work very closely um, with the DOE and the ACAP leadership to see that the building runs or that the classroom runs appropriately. I mean, I actually started as, a, as an elementary education major, um, but as, as life would have it, my first job was teaching high school, um, actually high school here in Limestone. I went on that track. And actually taught high school my whole career of, of, of teaching. But I always had that elementary background and always kind of enjoyed the littles, even though I didn't get much opportunity to work with them uh, as a regular teacher. Um, my first administrative job was also in a high school at Madden Uncle Academy as the assistant principal. So that was straight high school kids. Um, but then I had an opportunity to go to Van Buren, which was a pre-K to 12 school. And so I finally got my first taste of working with the Littles again, which I really enjoyed. Um, and then I came here, um, which was just a pre-K to eight school. So I've been with the Littles right straight ever since coming here. And I believe this is my fourth year. Um, in, enjoy working with the little kids. Um, uh, most of the time, they are very happy. They're very excited to see you. You know, as as we talked about, Sue, they their their faces light right up, and they call me Mr. Ben, and they come running, and I get hugs and all that sort of stuff. So that they, they are a lot of fun. We hope that you enjoyed meeting these professionals who enrich the lives of young children in our state every day. If you would like to learn more about positions in the field of early childhood education, please reach out to a member of the Maine Department of Education's Early Learning Team. We'd be pleased to help you explore your interests in this area.